Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard once again. Today I'm gonna talk about the DJI Avata, specifically how to make it better. And I mean, I started out hating this drone. Then I tried it and I started slowly understanding it and I was also surprised because it's super versatile. It can do a lot of stuff, it can also go fast and wow. But there is one thing I really hate about this drone. Of course, it doesn't aggro very well, but also it has some kind of glitch. When you are diving, when you are pushing a lot, it just drops out of the sky. It just tumbles, the dead tumble. It's, it's crazy. DJI shouldn't have made this mistake. But luckily, Axis Flying stepped in and they made a 3.5 inches upgrade kit for your Avata. This is 3 inches propellers. 3.5 inches is a little bit bigger and should probably fix a lot of the issues this one has. At least is what they claim. Now we just have to try it. And just for this video, I bought another Avata so I can install the 3.5 inches kit and basically try them simultaneously to see which one is better. So please help out this channel <laughs> and like, subscribe, comment, let me know what do you think about the DJI Avata? Do you like it as it is or is it worth it to disassemble it and install an aftermarket kit? Also, if you need to buy something, as always, please use the links down in the description. You will help this channel a lot. Let's go. First of all, to install this kit, you need the frame here in this box, but also the motors. This is the motor you're gonna use on your Avata 3.5. And as you can see, it has four screw holes. So it's different from the other ones. And it's a C157 version two, 3750 kV. This should push like crazy. Can't wait to try. Time to open the box and see, oh my God, what's inside. It's a lot of parts, basically. First of all, you get a pamphlet with all the instructions to install your Avata kit. Especially, this is very important. Follow Axis Flying on YouTube. They have very, very in-depth tutorials on how to dis disassemble the Avata and how to assemble the 3.5 kits. So I will not do it in this video, probably, because it's already covered in very much detail on their channel. This is the carbon frames, this is the middle frame of course, and this is the bottom one with the hole for the sensors. These are the upgraded ducts made in uh, clear plastic as you can see, and they are quite bigger than the original Avata, especially the uh, hole for the propeller. A lot more air gets pushed, probably much better. It comes with only one set of HQ props, T90, four bladed propellers. I hope you don't break them. And then you have part bags. This is to extend the USB-C cable. This is to extend the battery lid. You get the guard kit to install the antennas on your uh, ducts basically, and also a heat sink for the main control unit. And lastly, you get a carbon fiber plate with a 3D printed GoPro mount, because of course it becomes a little bit more powerful and you can carry a GoPro with less issues than the normal Avata. Now it's time to <laughs> assemble all of this and I'll get back to you once it's done. See you then. And boom, a couple of weeks have passed, but finally I have my Avata 3.5 inches ready. And just look at this beauty. It's actually very beautiful. It looks menacing. I love it. And it's quite big. It's as big as my face. Look at this. It's crazy. And a couple of weeks passed because I was working on a side project always with the Avata. Now it's almost ready and I had time to do this. So, I have not turned it on yet, so this will be my first time flying. I hope it works, I just finished building it. And if you were wondering, this is the comparison between a normal Avata and the 3.5 inches. It's quite a bit bigger and it's also 60 grams heavier. 409, 470. I mean, it's quite a lot of extra weight. I hope it makes up for it and the battery life is not super degraded. Let's go fly. It seems to be making less noise than uh, the regular Avata. And it's pretty stable as well. Wow. Wow, idling, it doesn't look too bad on the battery side because it says uh, 20 minutes of flying. It means it's not consuming a ton of amperage. Okay, let's put it in sport and see how fast it goes. Normal one goes uh, about 50 kilometers per hour. And we are pretty much the same. So, yeah. I don't see too much of an improvement here. It's not stabilized right now in my goggles. And it feels a lot, a lot better than the regular one. And it makes quite a less, uh, less noise. So, let's put it in acro. And that's the... Oh my God, when you break, all the drone comes in view. Let's put it in acro and see how it flies. 
because that's the real question. So it has quite a lot more power, I feel like, on the throttle. Motor overloaded. Mm. It scares you. Probably nothing happens, but oh wow, now it's sucking a ton of battery. Probably not the best to do that the first time on the trees. But okay, yeah, it feels a ton better compared to the regular Avada. I feel like, wow. You have, a, oh my God, you have a lot more control. Crazy. It's crazy how stable it is, wow. It feels like a regular FPV drone almost. Maybe a little bit heavier, but I'm very surprised. I didn't think it will fly this good. And the camera angle is not even, it's at 15 degrees. Come on. Let's put it here, 25 seems like a good deal. Yeah, I like the Avatar because you can change camera angle. And at 25, you don't see much in view. Nice. Okay, this kind of maneuvers I'm scared to do with Avatar because it has that uh, crappy bug, the death roll of uh, when, when it just falls down, you know, and so far I've not seen it with this drone. Now I don't want to break it, but yeah, I mean, for a Navata, for a Navata is not bad. And usually with this uh, split test, it doesn't do them very well. Wow. I mean, this is, remember, this is the first time I fly with this drone. And so far, no shakes, nothing. It's locked. It, it doesn't go faster than the original Avada. That's one concern I have. It goes 81, 80 kilometers per hour. I mean, with the original one I went 120. I, I'm gonna fly with it, I'm gonna show you what I mean. But wow, if you have to fly cinematic and uh, do some acro, this is the drone. Wow. I mean, try doing this with the regular Avata, it just freaks out. Ha! You see, this kind of stuff with the original Avata, you can't do it. Yeah, try doing this with the original Avata. <laughs> okay, the battery is starting to sag a little bit. We have been flying for six minutes and we have 30% of battery left, but I, I feel it's sagging. Battery level low, throttle output, yeah, okay, he just said it. So I guess it's time to land. If you fly slow and cinematic, it's not bad. We just pushed it a lot. Okay, let me come for a landing. If you go slow, probably does 10 minutes, 12. Now the question is, and we'll push with the original Avata and see how much I can do, how fast I can do. I don't know if I'm gonna do acro because I don't wanna crash it but for the sake of this video, probably I will. First impression, uh, you have to fly with a 20, 25 camera angle because otherwise you see the propeller, the prop guards in view, which I'm not a super big fan of. They could have maybe pushed the frame a little bit forward. I don't know if would they fly that good, but I mean, it's kind of bad seeing the, the frames. And if you wanna fly cinematic as low, you are always gonna see the frame in view and you have to crop a lot, and it's kind of a shame. So this is the original Avada, and it makes a lot more noise. You don't see the prop, the prop guards in view while you fly like this, which is already great. In sport mode, it should reach 50 km per hour. No, okay, it's mostly the same speed I saw 49. Now let's push and let's see how it goes. Put it at 25, so we have just like before. I'm scared, I don't wanna break my drone. 
But you can see the speed, it goes faster. I don't know how it's possible, but it goes faster with three inches. Look, 100 kilometers per hour there. I'm gonna go high because I fear I'm gonna break it. It doesn't fly as good. Man, I don't wanna break it. This drone is bugged. Look. Already, it drifted while I was doing that. Oh my god, you saw it! You saw it! You saw it! <laughs> That's the freaking issue this kind of Avata has. I hate it. I hate it. I mean, a company like DJI... Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to do it again, because every time my heart skips a bit, really. I mean, DJI, a, a company that made drones for 10 years and is the most advanced. This is crap. Full crap. Just tell me how a drone can have this issue. Okay, wow. It can do this kind of stuff, at least. It does it quite good. It has a little bit of bounce. I didn't expect it to do it good, but man, every time I go for a split S, I do it 10 times, 4 times, it, uh, it does that kind of, of behavior. It just flies better, like, like uh, with the 3.5 inches. Uh, come on, now two times, you saw it. It's undeniable now. I mean, I could be doing it for the... Uh, I'm getting too... <laughs> I'm getting too emotional about this. I mean, it's bad. But imagine it does that while you are close to the ground. It happened to me once. Come on, how do I stop it? Stop the motors! <laughs> ah, okay, two times. This review <laughs> is crazy. And I just cut a little bit of leaves and it's full of this dirty green resinous substance. It will be a hell to clean. And I didn't do it on purpose, of course, but this is what happens every time you start pushing while you acro. I gave it a little bit of a clean and now it's finally time to finish this video. Why would you take your DJI Avata, tear it apart, spend 120 bucks for the Motors Plus kit, spend time, watch a video, you have to be very careful what you do because you can break the drone to build a 3.5 inches upgrade kit for your Avata. So, this kit offers quite a bit of pros, of course. If you want to fly acro, well, this is much better. It flies better, it has more power, it's even more silent than the original one, quite a bit more silent. I didn't test with the um, uh, DBI meter, but you heard it from the microphone. The levels in the microphone are stable, like they are locked. So this is much, much noisier. I couldn't talk over it. This is much... I mean, it's still noisy, but compared to this, it's nothing. Most importantly, it doesn't have the death roll. If you have an Avata and you are thinking about buying another drone to start doing acro, maybe doing this kit conversion is a good idea. Because on this one, you cannot trust it doing acro. It will be fine. It, it, it is clumsy, it doesn't fly great. But if it didn't have the bug, the death roll, it would be fine, I wouldn't need to do this kind of kit. This, the only meaning of this kit is for me to eliminate the death roll. And of course it flies a little bit better in the process. But DJI, this product is amazing, I love it, but I cannot trust it. The death roll is crazy. And trust me, it happened to me a lot of times before changing the propellers. And I had to change the propellers because I broke them. The drone crashed into the ground after a death roll. So that's why I have this uh, Master Air Screw for bladed propellers. And these are much better than the original one. So I'm not talking even about the stock Avada. It's 15 bucks upgrade. But yeah, talking about cons, there are quite a few of them in my opinion. First of all, it's bigger. It's heavier. 60 grams heavier. Consumes more battery, like 30% more battery is consumed while flying. When you spin up the motor, they just suck the juice out of your battery. And 
of course you have to buy it you have to build it it's all cons like it's all time that goes wasted unless you like building a lot of people like lego projects so it's not that bad i don't think it voids your warranty if you do the dji care and if you crash with this just put everything in the original uh, avata stuff and send it to dji they don't ask too many questions usually you just pay of course kind of a big con accessing the micro sd is kind of hard you have to push it down the the frame a little bit they just had to make a cut out i don't know why they didn't really but it's very hard there is a remapping for the uh, usb c so you can always plug it in and download your data but when i'm flying i like changing sd card because i never know if i'm gonna lose the drone so changing regularly the sd card allows you to keep the previous footage which is not bad with this drone it's hard to do so I'm not a fan of, especially because it's an acro drone, so it's gonna have more probability of crashing and losing it. The biggest con for me is this one. The camera sees the ducks while you're flying level. If you're flying acro, you need to put it at 25 or more, at 20 or more, and it's fine. But I mean, this is a Cinewhoop, this is an Avata, this is made to be flying level. And once you do it, the shot is ruined with the ducks. I mean, Come on, it's a big fault. It's may maybe as big as the death roll on the original Avata. I don't know which one to choose. This does good aggro, the other one does good level. I wish this was the answer to all the issues because it's even efficient while you fly level and very stable. They could have just pushed this part a little bit forward and it would, been, and it would have been very, very fine. I don't know why they didn't. Maybe they tried and it didn't fly good. I don't know. Still, it's kind of a bummer. So, who is the 3.5 kit for? In my opinion, if you have a regular Avata, it's your first drone, you're starting to learn acro, maybe it's a good option because this drone, the Avata, can take you so far before you start encountering bad flying and death rolls and it's not good. So, instead of buying a 500 600 bucks drone like a 3.5 inch a 4 inch a 5 inch you buy the kit and you just modify the avata for 120 bucks this can teach you a lot about acro and it can probably do it better than regular fpv drones because avata has the panic buttons the gps it has uh, level like it offers the side wheels you use on a bike when you're learning so this is probably a good progression if you're fly, if you want to learn acro. Being more powerful, it's a better drone to carry a full GoPro for those ones who want to carry a full GoPro and use it on the Avata because this one suffers a little bit once you put a full GoPro, this one is better. And I don't use a GoPro on Avata because the O3 is fine enough for me and it kind of defeats the purpose. I have other drones for the GoPro that fly much better than this one. And lastly, for those people who have two of the same avatars, maybe consider doing this so you have one specialized in acro, one specialized in angle mode, basically, like, just like myself. But I didn't buy another one just to do this. I have a special project in mind and I am already prototyping it and basically combines this, this together. So you have good angle, good acro, less uh, weight of this one even. I'm doing something cool. Axis Flying, if you're looking <laughs> at this video, consider collaborating with me because uh, it uses much of the same pieces of this one. Let's see how it goes. And as always, that's all for this video. Remember to like, subscribe and comment. Let me know if you liked this kind of conversion, if you expected it flew this good and if you expected <laughs> the ducks to show in the camera frame. And as always, if you wanna buy something, click click on the links down below you will help this channel a ton also because i'm making prototypes and it costs a little bit of money so stay safe and happy flying bye